you go study the history of the British and the Portuguese and when you deal with the transatlantic slavery, it's documented how the Portuguese traded wine and rum for the young female women slaves, the little girl. But that's what he said. You've given a uh, young girl for wine that you might have wine to drink. You've given a little boy for a harlot. We have the songs that follow us to prove that we're Israel. Can nobody else testify to having these things to follow them? He said, your other nations are going to do what? Come in amongst you, and they're going to live amongst you, and they're going to go very high, but ye shall remain low. Look at your neighborhood. You ever find when you go to Chinatown, you don't find that one black restaurant? You ever find out when you go to Little Italy, Little Italy you don't find that one black, black restaurant? Go up to the Islamic um, community. You don't find black restaurants and businesses. I don't know why I'm just saying restaurant, but I mean businesses. Because he said, you were going to remain low. So what do you have in your neighborhood? What do you have in your community? Everybody has a business in black communities except the blacks. He said, other nations shall come in amongst you, and they're going to go up high. But ye shall remain low. He said, you're going to be the tail and not the head. You're going to be the borrower and not the giver. Who, are these, who do these signs follow? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, I'm and, and you know what's, what's funny is that, you know, we all grew up watching groups. And it's sad that I was like the, the, um, the, the, the youth today, they know nothing about groups. They don't want to have anything to do with it. Yep. Now, I'll tell you, when you look at groups, that whole thing, we know that that right there is talking about our ancestors that came across from the boat. But when you look at roots, us that have saw it, we see roots in Deuteronomy 28. The whole thing where, you know, when it says, you know, your daughters, your children shall be taken from you. And there shall be no might in your hands. And you shall long, you know, all the day long, you know, and you just go back to roots when they take kids, his daughter. It's, oh my gosh, you know, Maza, Maza, please don't take my daughter and son over here and stuff like that. That's Israel. But it, it happened in roots. So, you know, our people should be able to put the connection. These are the type of things that, like, when I came into it, when I saw that, I knew that that was a prophecy about our people because I remember the roots. That's that's it. It. No. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. As you were saying that pertaining to roots and stuff like that, the highlight of the roots when you first brought it out, mm -hmm. devastating. Yes. People could not deal with it. They could. Matter of fact, when they first grown it up, mm -hmm. white people were so scared of black people. Was ridiculous. Yep. And then they downplayed it. They downplayed it. The reason why they was killed by white people pertaining to that movie itself. Now, when they first grown up, they showed the realization how they actually dealt with black people mm -hmm. themselves. Now, I talked to my son. And I tell them about the same scenario pertaining to this. I watch this. I observe all this stuff. I knew about it. Was. Because, as you were saying earlier, sir, that when they was dealing with the women over the black man and stuff like that, it degraded us a lot. However, they also made sure that our black women talked to our little black boys, always called them the little man in the house. Not a man of this, right? And word is power. Every time you use word and have a stigmatization of that child, that person, all from life. You know, so you have to watch what you say. When you tell a young child that he's a man of the house, mm -hmm. when you start growing up, you talk to his mother any kind of way, because he feel like he's a man of the house. Right? He watch other men mm -hmm. talk to their women in any kind of way. He feel like he talk to his mother. I was coming up, he never talked to our mm -hmm. mother in Canada. My father was not in the house. When my mother said something, my dad was back in. That's, right. That's what it is. So I point here. Not only that, one more thing I'll be going to take time. Back then, we treat our women as an equal in size, not behind. Right. But yet it's still, they put out uh, the thing like when you were talking about food stamps and stuff like that. Right. So the black 
aunt have to leave out the house. And the black women was looking at this. And they felt so bad. Because what they did this to us, because it was integrated in school, they didn't want a black man to tell a white kid what to do. And that's why the problem is where it is today. You don't have a structure of a black man in the house. Therefore, the black boys don't know how to act. They don't know how to treat each other. So that's why they beat their mother, kill them. Mm -hmm. You never heard a black kid do that, mm -hmm. but now they are. But they're doing everything quite easy. That's right. Yeah. And I agree. Turn it back over to you. I was going to add, as far as uh, roots, um, when I first came into the wall back in 2011, um, 2012, um, I mean, obviously I had seen roots as a kid, you know, and, you know, whatever, but looking at some of those Israelite videos where they were putting montages together and showing us how they put it in movies who we are. Like we all, it ain't it wasn't been in, in the walk for any time. You know how they did the, the good times and how the little Michael was showing the image of, of Christ and saying he was black and so on. But right. there was one there was one they did with Ruth. And it was um and it was this white guy, you know, I guess a slave master, whatever was happening. And he had this group of, you know, black people and they were, you know, they had like tattered clothes on, you know, they he had them kind of huddled up together. And he said, um, he said to another white guy, he said, these are the wandering Jews. Mm -hmm. And you know, you if in the moment, like if you just want, like I, when I watched it in the yeah. 80s, you know, I didn't think nothing of that. I don't even remember hearing it back then. Right. But now, and of course now it's like, like wow, like they, they put it out there so much. I need to find that video. Like but that was shot, shot too. That, you want, that's right. Yeah, you're right, you're right. It wasn't Ruth, it was shot yeah. too. That's what it was, it was shot too. And he was saying the one and the, and the Israelite, whoever they put it together, had right. to keep saying that over and over again. Right. Like, I was like, wow. They put that right there and we don't even catch it. And, and you know, that's even with, um, just like what you were talking about, like with the old television shows. Like, they, they've been telling us who we are, but we just not paying attention. Like the scripture said, like, we sleep. Um, uh, Sanford and Son. Yeah. Remember when they showed you yeah. when he was saying that he was a king he was and he had the other thing. Exactly. exactly. Uh -huh. Exactly. So it's like Hollywood is showing you right there. But yeah. if you're not, you know, if you're not locked in, if you're not paying attention, you're just looking at it as a television show or entertainment and you laugh. But the other piece of it too is you can tell our people and go in the book and show them. Like like Maury, when he brought when, when I first started dealing with Maury, mm -hmm. he was like, I want you to get your Bible. Like, I want you to say I put the you know, I don't you know, I do he wouldn't give me his. If like, you get yours, oh, yeah. make sure it say what I'm saying is gonna say. That's so you be my word. You right. Can right. Exactly. You can get you can show black people, especially black women. But you can show black people this stuff and the and the and they want to say, what is it, what is the response I, I get a lot of? Is oh I got a personal relationship, I'm not religious, I'm spiritual, and I don't need all that. Like I'm like you got a you're spiritual, but what spirit are you before you go? Well, there's more than one spirit. So what spirit are you of? But our people don't want to hear that. They do not, and the reason that they don't want to hear is because it requires something of you. It means that you have to do this and not do that. But Christianity don't require that. Mm -hmm. Now, um, can I, I want to say something on, he said he just brought out about Moray telling you to get your life. Because that's sometimes that's important because for some reason people think that we're reading out of a whole another book. Right. Something that we put together. Like back now, I've been in this walk now for like 24, 24, 25 years. Right? So like the first the, the first people we talk, we want to come to and try to enlighten is our family and our friends. We know that. So now again, I, I come from the 70s, um, born in 1964, so we know that. All throughout all of the households back then, we had this image that was given to us. Okay, we didn't know his name, but now we got the name. Caesar Bolger, the second son, Pope Alexander. We we know that now, but it was this so-called white man with blonde hair and blue eyes, and that's what was given to us as an image. To what you notice know is that when they put that image up, they also put a representative of Martin Luther King right there too. Right, a powerful black man. Okay. Anything we have black that is powerful, we can look up to our black people. Right. Now, you just heard this movie just came out called uh, Black Panther. Many young people really rap to that because we want something that is powerful who we can look up to. Prime example, the first black president that we had, they never called him President Obama. Right. But the first black president we had, Black men start changing their jacket. Right. 
But and they start start acting like men to men. Well, that helped us out a lot. Okay. So now the point what I was making far as with the books. So like I said, this was back like back in 1995. So my mother, like I said, I grew up with this picture. So my mom, my mother, you know, said she's gone now. But um, she was enlightened before she left. Um, she had a big picture of Cesar Bolger in our house. We all grew up with it. So now I come in and I say to her, Mom, what, what, you, know, all of these, you know, all of these years you've been having this picture up there, this image right here saying that this is Jesus Christ. I'm like, why, are you, why do you still have that there when the Bible did strictly talks about, you know, um, that, that um, you know, Jesus, you know, is a so-called black man. And she's like, man, I don't know, I don't care what you tell me. Now, the, the, the Heavenly Father is my witness. She's like, I don't care what you tell me. Jesus Christ is white. I don't care what you tell me. I said, okay, let me show you something. Now, this goes back to what she was talking about. So I go on my, in my um, bag, and I go and pull my Bible out. She's like, no, 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 no. No, I don't want to see nothing that you got in that Bible that y'all had made up. <laughs> That's what she said. So I said, okay, no problem. I said, I'm going to get your Bible that you had since I was a child that had what else cut braids in them. Because, you know, we, we do all kinds of stuff, put pictures in there. You know, my mother cut my nephew's braids off, put them in there. I said, I'm going to get your Bible. So I go in the back. This old white Bible that she had since I was a child. I go and get the Bible, and I go to Revelation. I read Revelation 1, you know what I'm saying? They give the description of a Mashiach. We don't even know what it says. The feet of the fine brass is burning, you know, eyes of flame of fire, you know what I'm saying? And his head, and his head is white like wool, and all these things. Now, we all been to school, and we, you know, they taught us how to comprehend. We know how to comprehend. So my mother was a school. You understand? So I read this to her. And when I read it to her and broke it down to her, piece by piece, like, look at that. Now, that don't match up with this. And then I read it in the other part. I'm like, okay, the hair. Said his hair was white like wool. That right there is blonde and stringy. That don't match up. So I'm sure, and she's like, like, quiet now. Now she's quiet. She don't have nothing to say. So I threw the feet as it burned and, 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 and his feet as, you know what I'm saying, like brass, as it burned in a furnace. And we know if you put brass in a furnace, it get dark. I said, so um, now, what do you have to say about that according to the Bible? Now, Mom, you have sent me in church and all of that. We've been dealing with the Bible. This is your Bible. And now she's like this. She's quiet. The next day when I came in the house, now, I don't subscribe to putting up images. I don't, I don't subscribe to that. But when I came in, Caesar Bourget was gone, and there was a black Jesus up there. <laughs> there was a black Jesus up there. Uh, didn't say Jesus, because that's what she called him. But my point is, she was able to understand and comprehend what I was reading out of her book. And she's on the phone. I'm like, when I come in, she's on the phone with my aunt, which is her sister. Then that boy came in there and showed me some stuff. I've never been dealing with this Bible before. All of these years, and this boy only been in this thing for one month. I kept what she said, Dan, I can't, I, I couldn't believe it. And I said, I see you took it down. You know, but hallelujah that, you know, at least she was enlightened on that. She didn't get to the Israel thing, you know what I'm saying, or something like that. She did come out and support us. You understand, when I first came out there, she wanted to know what her son was into. You know, I'm wearing garments and wrapping turbans on my head. She's like, okay. What is this? When she see who's dealing with the Bible, I changed my life from a thug, drug dealing, robbing people, which was white people. <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyway, not for real, y'all ain't never wrong my people. But um, I changed my life, and that was that was good enough for her. That was good enough for her. So I just wanted to give that, you know, testimony just to say I see what um, Bro was talking about. You know, I actually had to get her Bible to. Um, mm -hmm. You know, to, to edify her. She don't want to see my book. She thought it was something else. Bro, I'll get back to you. Yeah, we thank the most out for all that has said, been said and done. And just, you know, thank the most out for Shabbat. Thank the most out for, mm -hmm. for this lesson and being able to just go through it and just finally close it out. Like I said,
say I, I skipped a lot in this lesson, but I think enough information was given that from part one all the way until this part <laughs> that people can um, comprehend what the New Testament is about and who these Gentiles and this mystery that has plagued right. most people as far as their understanding of who the Gentiles are in the New Testament. So at this time we are going to get ready to um, adjourn and So we're going to get ready to adjourn and then um, just fellowship. And in, in an announcement that we can make? Um, I sent the text out last night, um, just a reminder of the support group, um, the funds. Um, we get to Shari, she's a treasurer, she'll collect, and um, we get the agenda, the menu, and everything together, and activities. So more details to come, but it's October 7th. So at this time we're going to stand. <laughs> so at this time we're going to stand for um, our Lord of the show far, and we're going to pray and we're going to adjourn. Shabbat shalom, everybody. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.